Portfolio is a new finance application for iOS that helps users track the markets and their personal portfolio. Born out of frustrations with finance apps having a tendency to be both ugly and irksome to use, Portfolio wants to bring a dose of design to the niche. The application is clean and simple to use. I've become addicted to its daily push notification at the end of trading to alert me about the day's financial movements and the fate of a number of companies that I track. If you are an active investor, Portfolio will also keep your individual trades up to date so you can track your profits and losses. The app is up against big names like Yahoo Finance and a host of others. I am here today with Ben Schechter, the co-founder and CEO, if I may, of the uh, application. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Portfolio is your jam, and it came out uh, quietly on iOS, I want to say about three weeks ago now? Three weeks ago today, actually, yeah. So why did you pick that launch date for the application? Uh, so we had been working on it, actually, since about November, and we had filled up our beta, we were testing it, we wanted to get it out there and actually see how it was working out in the wild, and so put it out there, kind of soft, quiet launch, Got some users. And you put it on the Android. iOS application store, not Android yet. Apple apps, yeah. So yep. why did you pick Apple over Android? We have a little bit more experience with iOS. We'll get to Android at one point. Uh, but yeah, that was kind of just the main And then main you, got, for that. you put out an update for it, and then after that update came out, Apple put it in the featured section of the stocks and finance part of the app store in the US. We put the app out there. Um, we had a couple of things that we needed to fix, put uh, an update out. Uh, once that update was reviewed about a day after that, we were featured by Apple both under best new apps as well as uh, stocks and news under the finance So category. for all the entrepreneurs out there that, or people that want to do this, how many downloads a day does that drive to your application? When Apple drops that love on you that everyone wants in the iOS store, what does that mean in terms of actual raw numbers? We're getting around 5,000 downloads per day. Uh, it's hard to tell how much of that is coming from best new apps versus stocks and news, but... Is yeah. stocks and news a, a larger app category or is it much smaller compared to gaming and other social stuff? It's, it's smaller. Okay. Um, the finance categories are definitely not as applicable as something like social networking, but it's still driving significant, significant downloads. So I know you're already insane because you used to work here at TechCrunch, so that's kind of a good litmus test for just batshit insanity. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, you're going up against everyone building this application. I mean, Yahoo's finance app is the kind of industry standard on iOS, and they've put a lot of money and time into building what they think is the, the preeminent experience for finance on the go. And you, with one co-founder, are trying to take them on in this way. I'm curious, why? I think we've carved out like a really nice niche um, that didn't exist before. Like, I don't think that keeping up to date with your portfolio and the way that we've done it has existed on iOS or in mobile form before. A lot of people had spreadsheets. A lot of people were like logging into their brokerage accounts every single day. Right. Um, but we've made it very simple, and the uptick in that is just kind of evidence of that. Yahoo Finance is a great app. They have uh, the the brand name, the market name. Everyone knows Yahoo Finance. I used to work at Yahoo as well. So, um, but not via your own choice that they bought your company. We were we were, we were happy with the acquisition that occurred and yeah. Um, that means you made a lot of money. <laughs> keep that one in your hat. All right, keep going. We built the app for ourselves. Um, so I think something that's really difficult to do right now is just kind of at a glance know how your portfolio is performing. So this and is I ironic. Um, you took all of your Yahoo sourced money, used the Yahoo application, didn't like it, and now you're using your Yahoo money to attack Yahoo about Yahoo's money app. Um, yeah, I would say like... That's really ironic. Our, in a beautiful way, actually. Our main motivation is not to go up against Yahoo Finance. Sure, we're in the same market as them, and I think that's we're... That's like Ford saying we're not going against GM. <laughs> like, what the hell are you talking about? That's bullshit. <laughs> it's good bullshit, but it's still bullshit. I think right now we're coexisting. I think there's uh, a case for us getting into news in the future and building that into portfolio. It's not something that we're looking at doing immediately. Um, but in the event that we do that, yes, we'll be a lot more competitive with, with Yahoo. So what I'm really curious about is how you plan to make money off this application, because I, I use it on a daily basis now myself, but um, it's really simple, it's fast, but it's not really dragging me in, and I'm not swiping my credit card into it. So do you see a way to monetize this moving forward, or is this more of a passion project hobby for you guys? There's a lot of financial media companies out there. Yahoo Finance has done this based off of advertising. So yeah, certainly. I think the long-term path for us is to get into new syndication. We'll be working with other media outlets, publish content, all that kind of stuff, and against that content, um, we can do some advertising rev share, do advertising within the app, and financial advertising happens to be fairly lucrative, um, so you don't need... So what's more important right now, an Android launch or a functional monetization on the iOS application itself? So I think for the foreseeable future, you're going to see a lot of love being thrown at the iOS app just to make sure that, that uh, it's getting out there, we're keeping those users happy. I think at one point we'll spin up a different thread and operate on the Android side of things and make sure that we're getting those users as well, because the market exists on both sides. Um, so I would say probably for the next one to two months, we'll be solely focused on iOS. Android will be coming so, so soon. So Android in the summer, then? 
Uh, hopefully, yeah. Okay. And if I want to find the app, it's um, get-portfolio.com. Yep, or you can just search portfolio in the app store and it's the first, the first result. All right, good. Well, we'll have you back in six months and we'll see how many downloads you have. And if it's less than a million, you owe me lunch. Okay, okay. Done. Done. Thank you. <laughs>